just seem really lovely, so I feel like I should be totally honest right out of the gate, because, you know, it's, it's tough to keep a deep, dark secret in the whole internet age with the face tube and the U-books and all the stuff you kids are doing. Um, so I, um, I'm, uh, I'm white. I'm totally white, and um, it's cool that you're not shocked by that, right? Because you all have that one white friend. Right, just like, oh yeah, Ashley from yoga, she was pretty cool. Gave me a cool play CD, took me to Pali Barn, all right. And uh, all the sisters are holding their boyfriends just a little bit closer. Eyes right here, LeBron, not on Twinkie, right here. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I am a, a white middle class Catholic, or um, a vanilla, as we like to be called. Where my vanilla's at? No one says that. No one wants to be. Vanilla's for Jesus, really. And um, as a vanilla, I have three great loves. Dogs, big beautiful black men, and vampires, apparently. But I don't really subscribe. I don't get the whole vampire. I, I just, I think Twilight is total BS. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not into it. You know, maybe because I'm not 11, but. Uh, <laughs> Rob Pattinson, the lead dude, he just looks like a giant euro to me. I'm sorry. With the pale and the eye makeup and big fan of the cure, Edward. Okay. And, um, but chicks, chicks love vampires. How else do you think Keith Richards still gets They love the guys from Twilight and all the boys from True Blood. And I'm telling you right now, Count Von Count from Sesame Street is tapping a milf right now as I speak. Just, one cougar. Ah, ah, ah. Count impression. Shaka Khan. But, um, I don't know if any of you, how many of you see in the desperate white woman trying to pick up the big, beautiful black man out in the wild? Because that is, oh my God, that's sadder than the ending of Marley and Me. That is just <laughs> horrible to witness. Because white women are the only ones, we will morph into whomever we're trying to impress. No other ethnicity does this, okay? Like, Latinas don't change. They're all very caliente and eye poppy and it works and what? Totally hot. And Asian chicks, whatever. They just have to show up over the Asian chicks. I mean, black women don't white it up when they're hitting on a, a Caucasian dude, right? I mean, you don't see Beyonce like, uh, pardon me, Todd. <laughs> But I don't think you're entirely prepared for my jelly. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> but the white woman, just you've seen us out on the floor wearing our Ed Hardy hoodies and just throwing down moves. Just, just. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm Queen Vanilla, the white salty cracker. <laughs> I want to be on you like FUBU. <laughs> my nizzle, there's. 50% chance of drizzle, and uh, you know, and it ends in the Carlton from the Fresh Prince, and that, it's not sexy, ladies, it's just... White women, vanillas, let's stick to our strengths, okay? Like our ability to combine Xanax and Pinot Grigio better than a commercial airline pilot. Yes. We, you know, we don't smoke a lot of the pots, but we have an awesome tolerance to all the pharmaceutical meds. You can't roofie us. You can, we, we can't be roofied. I'm saying this right now. The other day, a guy slipped me a roofie. Two hours later, I'm still working out to the P90X video. <laughs> Doing Sudoku puzzles. Playing chess against Max von Sydow. Checkmate. That's right, game face. I'm alert. You can't do it. <laughs> That's why I make the best subjects on intervention. Anybody watching the intervention? Yeah. Yes, my favorite show. I just like to sit down with a big box of wine, <laughs> pack of marbles in my bookie, and watch intervention because the best subjects are the white women. They're like in their 30s or 40s, right? They're still living at home with their parents. And they're just, you know, mainlining Vicodin off the bathroom floor. They're drinking vodka out of an empty Nutella jar. That, mm, I'm just in. Abusing the, <laughs> abusing the crap out of their poor mom, right? Like she's just yelling out, barking out random commands at her mom, like, give me a drink, buy me a puppy, do my roots. <laughs> White 
women have an unholy connection with dogs. We are very, very dependent on our doggies. We really are, because white women have no barometer. We have no inner gut, no sixth sense. I mean, all my black girlfriends are like, mm-mm, mm-mm, child, no. I ain't vibing it. I'm not feeling it. Mm-mm. My Persian friends are all, no, no good, evil eye, evil eye, no good. White women do not recognize a red flag until it's being dipped in chloroform and held over our face. <laughs> being thrown into a windowless van, and even when we're at the bottom of the well, lotioning ourselves up, we're like, I don't think I can go on a second date with that guy. <laughs> He did pay, you know. That's why I need, I need my doggy Buster. Because, you know, if somebody creepy or untoward comes by, you know, Buster growls. I wish I wasn't so dependent on him. I wish, well, frankly, I wish my hoo-ha could bark. I really do. I just, uh, She just has to get used to you. (laughs) Just let her her sniff your hand. You know, she's a rescue vagina. (laughs) Beaten by her previous owners. Sir, my vagina can't bark. It's fine. But it does have that new car smell. I don't, I don't know, I just got quite a little confident. We're not juicy. I, my God, I'm Catholic. We have original sin. Do you know what that is? Does anyone even know what that is? You know, basically, it's that we're, you're born and you're screwed. That's it. You're just chock full of sin. You're a petri dish of sin. That's how much the Catholic Church hates, just you touch it on the way out, you're done. So I'm thinking like, well, what is original sin? You know, the other day I, uh, I walked into a Starbucks wearing nothing but a wetsuit and a Viking helmet, and then I decapitated a barista using a sham wow. That's right, mopped up afterwards. So that's CSI Miami. But um, also very, very confused as a white woman uh, with the dating, I'll, I'll leave you with this, because I, I don't understand all the new trendy ethnic expressions for sexual maneuvers. I don't get all these things I'm hearing, like the, the Italian foot bone and the, the Jamaican mudslide. And the what the hell? What's that? I don't know. So one guy the other day wanted to do an Abraham Lincoln. Anyone? You filthy, filthy whore. But I didn't, I didn't know who it was, so I was just like, oh my god, is this guy going to be painfully honest in bed? Because I don't think that's what I'm looking for in the boudoir. I just, uh, hey Carla, your is uneven. I oh, know, it's a rescue. But, um, <laughs> explain that. So I was thinking, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to do an Abraham Lincoln. I could do a Nixon. <laughs> Some lies, videotape, and or two. I'm cool with that. You know, uh, maybe a Reagan. Just forget who you're banging. George? Maybe. <laughs> Could do a Sarah Palin. That's where Katie Kirk comes in, spanks you, and then you just quit halfway through. I'm writing a book. <laughs> what about a George Bush Sr.? He too soon and his son has to come in and finish the job? And his son makes such a mess of things, a big, beautiful black man has to come in and work clean up. 